Okay, um, morning to everybody. Um, I am going to, to present the, the European project Aliara in behalf of the consortium. Um, um, perhaps most of you uh, know the project and uh, this presentation is going to be um, a demo and uh, I, I would like to, to, to highlight the, the technology used in, 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 in the tool uh, just to, to, to show you that Aliada uh, follow the, follows the, the standards and also the, the, the trends you have been talking about. Okay, um, yes, uh, there is a challenge for libraries and museums uh, because they, 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 they are information professionals and um, the, cha the challenge uh, should be um, a good opportunity to, to, to be there uh, in, the, uh, in the web, in the semantic web. And um, uh, the, the linked data technology is also a, a, an opportunity because uh, the, the libraries and museums um, uh, could um, have a, a, grow, a global pool, pool of shared data that uh, can be reused to describe resources and uh, to reduce the, the, the cataloging effort. And uh, the use of the web and the web-based identifiers uh, um, uh, will be uh, will be used by by catalogers also to, to enrich uh, the descriptions and so on and uh, the linked data technology is more durable and robust than metadata formats used in in libraries and museums um, developers uh, will also no longer have to work with library specific data formats uh, mark and lido in, and uh, with linked open data, libraries can increase their presence on the web um, because uh, they are uh, um, very important information providers and they should be there. Uh, okay, uh, I will do the presentation from, from a librarian point of view because I am librarian, <laughs> I'm not uh, an engineer. And um, if you are interested in, in more technicalities, uh, please uh, contact the consortium and we will provide you um, a lot of, of information about the technology. And uh, how to start? Uh, libraries and museums, uh, first of all, they have to, to follow the, uh, the standards, the, the standard conceptual models and the standard meta metadata schemas for, for, for uh, bibliographical and uh, museum information. And uh, they normally or usually do it, but uh, now they have also to select an ontology. They have to convert uh, their metadata uh, into RDF statements and they have to link their uh, data set to other uh, data sets. And finally, they have to publish their data as a five star link open data. Um, well, uh, libraries and curators are experts in cataloging and making accessible their resources, but they don't know about linked data technology. Uh, so they need an ally. This is the, the, the starting point of the, of the Aliada project. Okay, uh, the Aliada is uh, ally in, in English and in Spanish, sorry, ally is the, the word in English and Aliada in Spanish. And uh, it's a, a tool uh, to, to publish uh, linked open data of libraries and museums. Uh, it's, a, it's an open source Java, Java application to automatically publish as linked data the metadata created by, by a library or museum management system. Uh, it su supports uh, the most used metadata types uh, bibliographical, uh, for um, describing uh, bibliographical um, objects and documents authorities, uh, museum objects, and other, other information resources. Uh, it's compliant with the MARC XML, LIDO, and Dublin Core formats. And uh, the conversion to RDF is done according to the Aliada ontology, and a specific ontology for the project, 
that it's mainly based on uh, FRBROO ontology, SCOS, um, FOAP, and, 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 and two uh, ontologies uh, to, to, to time, for time and, and geolocalization. Um, the linking to other data sets, uh, Aliada uh, has a predefined list of uh, external data sets to select and to, to use uh, during the, the conversion and during the, the linking. Um, finally, uh, Aliada will provide uh, the, the possibility of, publi of publishing the dumps, the URIs, and the Sparkle endpoint on Data Hub. And um, a sort of overview of the project. Uh, the project uh, started um, in 2013, and uh, the project uh, has uh, finished uh, this uh, October. The partners are art museums, libraries, uh, library system vendors, researchers on, sem on semantic web technology. And uh, we are from Spain, Italy, and, and Hungary. Uh, the final release is, uh, has been published in October, and uh, there is an open source community around the project. Aliada is free software, and you can do download it and, and use it. Uh, this is the timeline of the project, as uh, I have said before. Uh, we have uh, published the, the final release uh, right uh, in October, and uh, the main features or the main the, the main functions of the of the of the tool um, are the, the following. In the first prototype, we include the the, the user interface module in Spanish and, and English. Uh, we uh, implemented the validation of uh, imported records, MARC and LIDO. Uh, we created the, the mapping templates according to the FRBROO ontology mainly. Um, uh, we uh, created the, the artificer, the conversor to RDF uh, of, the, of the tool. Um, uh, and we uh, add at the, uh, some data sets, the data set that uh, can be queried uh, with a Sparkle uh, queries. And uh, we implemented the, the uh, link data server creation, and the Sparkle endpoint, and the URIs deferencing. And um, yes, uh, we did the, the validation mainly. And uh, for this second prototype, uh, we have um, implemented the, the functionality for, for validating Dublin Core and, and Mark for authorities. Uh, we implemented also um, a validation in, in the artificer. Uh, we, we add a, a sort or a kind of uh, name entity recognition for some test free elements. Um, we add more external data set to, to the list, the data set that can be um, queried using an API. Um, uh, we add to the, to the linking module the, the disambiguation function, and um, we did a lot of things. <laughs> um, we we um, implemented an advanced uh, URI differencing and creation of of a web page for the generated data set and the publication module uh, to, to publish the, the, the data set and the links on, uh, on Data Hub. And uh, we translated the, the user interface to, to Italian and Hungarian languages. And finally, um, we, uh, we integrated the, the, the Aliada tool uh, with a library system using REST uh, services. This is um, more or less the, 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 the architecture for, for Aliada second prototype. As you can see in the, in the slide, 
um, um, there are uh, some modules, uh, the user interface module, the validation module, the, uh, the Pfizer, the linking um, that includes the link data server and the, the discovery of links, and finally the, the, the publisher. Okay, um, I will uh, highlight some uh, features uh, of the of the tool. Uh, for example, the, in the in the Aliada Artificer, um, we we uh, um, we we have uh, put uh, we had we we wanted to to to, to achieve uh, uh, these uh, these features, the scalability. Uh, of the of the module, uh, the artificer is is built uh, as a RESTful application and is uh, com compatible compliant with uh, with the Java Java web applications. Um, the conversion templates and the mapping is uh, configurable and extensible. Um, we can uh, modify the the, the, pre the the, the, yes, the, the existing mapping uh, to, to adapt it to, to the changes uh, in, the, in the models and in the, in the uh, cataloging um, um, techniques. Uh, the re reusability is also um, an important um, aspect. Uh, it's possible to, 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 to have uh, the, the module as, as a standalone installation. Uh, it's very use, easy to, to use and maintain. The conversion job is controlled by the, the conversion templates, uh, as I said before. It's uh, also easy to, to extend um, because the, 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 the same uh, argument. And uh, finally, um, we have added uh, a validation uh, to, to validate uh, the, the, the conversion uh, after starting the, the process. Uh, the, um, the natural language processing has been done um, over uh, some free test fields, uh, such as the, the LIDO descriptive node value and for MARC, uh, mm, over uh, the, some uh, um, 500 uh, tags. And this is a, an overview of uh, how Aliada links uh, the own data set to, to, to external data set. For example, in the, in the case of the, of the external data set that have a sparkle endpoint, and this is uh, the, the case of the external data sets that uh, don't um, provide an sparkle endpoint. Um, Aliada includes also a links disambiguation uh, to, to delete the, the, the generated links that are ambiguous. And uh, about the, the, URL, the URI, um, we try to, to, to create U, uh, cool URIs. Um, this is the, the, the format of the, of the URI created by Aliada. And uh, we include also um, an end conven convention uh, to, the, to, uh, to the URI structure to, to to make it easier for for the for a human reader, I will show you the all these things uh, during the, the demo. Um, after or before the, the publication of the data set, um, Aliada shows to the to the user uh, this screen just to 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 view uh, what information will be published on the data hub. For example, the, the description of the organization, the source, the license, the sparkle endpoint, the vocabulary, the number of triples, the list of resources, and the subset used. And this is the, the, the 
aspect of the of the of the data set uh, generated by Aliada uh, on the Zika Data Hub uh, platform. And finally, um, for the institutions that are interested in, in, public, in publishing their uh, data set um, in the link data cloud, they have to, to, to ask for, for a side call uh, to, the, to, the, to the institution, to the lot cloud net page. And uh, uh, just to say that uh, Aliada uh, allows to, to the institution to, to reach the level three. Uh, this is um, an example of uh, uh, how we integrated uh, Aliada in, in an existing uh, library management system. Uh, we, we did that with a RESTful API. This is the, the aspect. And finally, I will uh, I will do the I will uh, show you the the demo of Aliada. A few minutes. Um, yes, this is the, the main um, aspect of the of the tool. Um, uh, the, the usability is a, a key aspect, a very important uh, thing in the project. And uh, mm, as you can see, the, the user has the possibility of of um, the site, the configuration. Uh, to see the, the previous uploads, um, they can go to the Git to the GitHub, to the wiki, to, to, to see the, the the manual. And uh, in this screen, um, the user can uh, decide um, what uh, type of of uh, metadata they are going to convert. Um, Normally, the, the expected metadata uh, has to be in, in Mark XML, Lido XML, and WCore XML. Um, after importing the, the metadata file, um, uh, the, the user will run the, 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 the module Artificer to convert automatically the, 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 the files to RDF. The RDF. Uh, Mm, yes, the statements are stored in a Virtuoso data store and they can be uh, queried by the user through the, the, the Aliada uh, screen uh, and the user can uh, see the, the, the URI and they can uh, change the extension of the, of the URI just to, to see the, the, the data. Um, as JSON, as Turtle, as HTML, and uh, also uh, the, the URI is, is ready to, to, to show the, the work, for example, in the, in the OPAC, in the catalog of, el, of the library of the museum, to, to, to have also a, a human readable uh, interface for, for, for the data. And uh, all the process is uh, very automatic and very easy to the to the final user. That uh, in 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 the case of, of the project, the target user is a librarian, a non-expert user. So you can perform the, the process very easily, and uh, you will get um, the URIs and you will publish the, the URIs also automatically on the on the data hub. And uh, this is the, the, the main feature of the of the tool, the simplicity the, of the of the process. So um, uh, I think that uh, I will end my presentation here. And if you are interested in in, in using and testing the application, we are um, uh, at your disposition for for all that you think. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christina.